Hello, I am Odetta Rocket Carr, founder and CEO of the Bank of Jamrock, where your money is not safe with us. We are the best mediocre bank in the region and we thrive to be the best at being the worst. Say what? Did I just hear her right? Today I'm coming to you from one of our newest locations and I want to grant you the privilege of becoming an account holder in our noble financial institution, knowing that you need us more than we need you. Here at the Bank of Jamrock, we take your money seriously, which is why we make it so difficult for you to withdraw it from your account when you need it. She didn't just say that. So get your rich walk when things start walking. To serve you better from the Bank of Jamrock, we have taken our innovation to a new level in the past year. This is exactly why our online banking platform is not user-friendly, nor is it reliable. And it does use technology that would appear to be from the Stone Age. By reducing the number of bank tellers available to serve you at all our branches, with an objective to improve our already high profit margins, we will actually force more of you to use our cumbersome online banking platform to manage your money. As we optimize our banking operations, our primary objective for the next fiscal year is to consolidate our branches. As such, we will be closing down the branches that are in the highly populated areas in order to further drive our already high profitability. That said, please brace yourself for much longer lines when you visit our branches that will actually wrap around the buildings. You know, see, are true. The line them long at the bank for real. We do implore you, however, to take a snack, some water, and an umbrella with you as you will be standing outside in the piping hot sun or the pouring rain. And if you happen to have a weak bladder, do not forget your adult diapers, although our security guard on the outside will be selling adult diapers on special. Buy one, get one for fees. At the Bank of Jamrock, we never worry that we will lose you as a customer and compromise our market share. Since we are well aware that there is only a handful of you who actually know what good customer service feels like. The girl I just called me idiot. Also, most of you are not smart enough to realize that putting your money in a regular savings account in a bank is a tad bit better than putting it under your silly postropedic mattress. We take comfort in the fact that our account holders are either uneducated or undereducated and they don't know any better since financial education is not taught in school. Who does she think she is? As our valued, ignorant customers, we are committed to serving you as the VIPs that you think you are. The girl I want me done her. How she so fiesty? Shut your mouth with your little bit of money. Shut up. We will continue to pay you less than 1% interest per year when you deposit your money in your savings account hoping that you'll never discover that there are indeed financial institutions in Jamrock paying 5% per annum. 
We will also continue to gradually reduce the balance on your inactive account as our bank is not a place for squatters. We also hope that you will continue to believe that our bank is the safest place to put your money. Even though if you leave it here for long, we will continue to apply fees and charges to it until you have absolutely nothing left in your account. If there is no activity on your bank account for an extended period, we will move the status of your account to a dormant stage with hopes that you will forget about it and we can keep your money. But don't worry, we usually send you two emails to remind you that your account is about to go dormant just before we lock away your hard-earned money from you for a very long time. Now, after all that, I am certain that you are itching to open a bank account with us. But before we tell you what is required, know that it is the exclusivity of this noble financial institution, why we ask you for everything but the kitchen sink to open an account. We will require a current and official means of identification, which I'm sure you likely think is sufficient since it has a photograph, your actual address, your TRN number, and your date of birth. But no, absolutely not. At the Bank of Jamrock, we are all about thriving through hardship and making your lives more difficult than it has to be with our excessive criteria to opening an account. This is why in addition to a photo ID, we need your actual tax registration card, not just the number. Even though we already have your driver's license with your TRN number on it. We do also need proof of address, and you can do so with a recent utility bill. We do recognize that by asking for your address, when you live at a place like Hampton District, Plumtree, PA, which is where I grew up, that it's almost impossible to find anyone without the use of street addresses and lot numbers. And many of the addresses in Jamrock are exactly like this because they are rural. As such, you must be thinking, this does not make any sense. But remember, thinking is not your area of expertise, nor is it your strength. Please leave that to us, your trusted financial advisor. Who does she think she is? It is our mission here at the Bank of Jamrock to get more young people to open accounts the minute they leave the classroom. That said, we still want proof of address from them, even though we know they are still residing with their parents and do not have utility bills in their actual names. To become a part of this exclusive and noble institution, you will also need to provide the name of two referees. We are well aware that upon calling those two referees, the person answering on the other line may not be the person that you put down on paper, and that person will provide your character reference. Nevertheless, we would still like it for our files. And as it pertains to proof of income or employment that we ask you for, we are still not sure why this is necessary for you to open a bank account. As soon as we figure it out, we will let you know. Now, I am sure that you are thinking, Bank of Jamrock? Why do you need so much from me to open an account? But understand that we are actually doing you a favor by allowing you to open an account at our exclusive financial institution. You should consider yourself fortunate that to open a bank account, we are not asking for your navel string, your blood type and some plasma, and your father's name on your actual birth certificate because that would eliminate many of you bastards out there. At the Bank of Jamrock, you are safe with us. 
and I am proud to announce that your deposit insurance coverage is now 1.2 million Jamaican dollars from the measly $600,000 where it was two years ago. Be assured that if you have 3 million Jamaican dollars in your account and a scammer were to compromise our security protocols and steal your hard-earned money, we will give you back 1.2 million of that 3 million dollars, which is a whopping 40%. That, my potential account holders, is as a result of your deposit insurance coverage. And rest assured that we will pursue this scammer with stealth, precision, and surreptitiousness, knowing that it is our carelessness why you are losing 60% of the money in your account. But it could be worse. Think about the sucker who has 10 million Jamaican dollars in their account. Based on the deposit insurance coverage of $1.2 million, they would lose 8.8 .8 million Jamaican dollars. This is exactly why we absolutely love catering to the poor. Not only do we think they don't know any better, but they have less to lose. Now, as we embark on this amazing year ahead of us, I would like to personally thank you for making the Bank of Jamrock your financial institution of choice, resulting in a record-breaking financial year. Without you, our valuable, ignorant and illiterate customers, we would not have exceeded our profit margins by over 50%. Who is she calling illiterate? Does she know that I have a master's degree in banking and finance? How dare you? For this level of profitability to be possible, it was prudent that we kept increasing our fees despite the global pandemic brought on by a deadly virus that caused almost everyone to experience financial difficulties. But regardless of your hardship in these trying times, we at the Bank of Jamrock remain resolute on our mission to milk your pockets dry as we maximize our profitability. You should take comfort, however, in the fact that we don't compromise. We are consistent, committed, and calculated. If it were not for the monthly maintenance and service fees, which range anywhere from four to $25, that you have to pay just to keep your money in your bank account, we would not be able to give our executives millions of dollars in bonuses the last fiscal year. If it weren't for the ATM fees that you complain about so bitterly, which we sometimes charge whether you're withdrawing money from an ATM that's within the network or outside of the network, we would not be able to fly our executive team, business and first class everywhere they go. And if it were not for the transaction fees that we charge for withdrawing, lodging, or transferring money from your account, we would not be able to build this amazing state-of-the-art banking facility where when you come to conduct your business, you need to stand up in line on the outside in the piping hot sun, just waiting for an opportunity to enter. And you see those overdraft fees that we charge you, whether your overdraft is deliberate or accidental, it is our way of teaching you to live within your means. And of course, the overdraft fee is actually the same as the insufficient funds fees. Calling them something different, it's just our way of charging you twice for the same thing. And if it weren't for you, our financial illiterate customers paying these wire transfer fees of $35, we would not be able to give you a mouthful of water that we offer at our fountains in all our branches. 
Now, as it pertains to the early account closing fees, that is our way of punishing you for wanting to leave our mediocre bank. All that said, without you paying these fees, we would not have been able to increase our revenue by 70% in these challenging economic times. But we know that you like to save with a bank that is financially stable, which is why despite all we do, you continue to stick with us like crazy glue. Crazy being the operative word. At the Bank of Jamrock, it is our desire for you to be more assertive, confident, and versatile Why we charge you the highest interest rates that we can get away with and only reduce it when you actually shop around and find a lower interest rate and meet with us to negotiate. After all, we are not in the business of giving handouts. As a nation with a history of fighting for our freedom, we believe that you should fight for your financial freedom as well. Now, as it pertains to your foreign exchange needs at the Bank of Jamrock, we sell one US dollar for 155 Jamaican dollars. However, we do buy one US dollar for a measly 130 Jamaican dollars. This is only because we are hell-bent on making a killing of the foreign exchange rates as we capitalize on your stupidity to grow our profit margins. We believe it's our way of helping to regulate a devaluating currency. And to ensure that you have no option, we label everyone else out there who would consider giving you a higher exchange rate as the black market, and we use our propaganda machine to keep you from buying foreign exchange from them. Now in closing, I want to say a big thank you. And I want to let you know that we at the Bank of Jamrock, we are here for you. It's because we are here for you why we waive mortgage processing and commitment fees at will when it is convenient to us. Because really, it's just a money-making scam to begin with. It is because we are here for you why we charge the poor 7% for interest rate when they take out mortgages with us and only 5% for the rich. That's because the rich know how and when to negotiate. It is because we are here for you why we increase your credit card balance without informing you when we realize that you're struggling to make the minimum payments so that we can sink you further in debt as you keep spending money that you have not earned yet to impress people that you don't even like. If it weren't for you, our loyal account holders with mediocre aspirations, I, the CEO of Jamrock Bank, could not triple my salary in the last five years. If it weren't for you, I could not fly in private jets everywhere I go and I would not be able to use my helicopter to go from branch to branch to optimize my time. And you see that private island that I have off the coast of Fiji, where I travel in my luxurious yacht just to watch the sunset? I would not have been able to acquire that. And last but not least, I would not be able to pay our executives exorbitant bonuses if it weren't for you, our illiterate customers. We are so grateful for your ignorance and stupidity. And we do hope that you will continue to spend most of your time watching Netflix to see what's happening in your favorite series, getting caught up with the drama of your favorite celebrity as you talk tea and gossip, and scrolling through social media for hours. By doing that, you will never make time to be financially literate and to achieve financial security financial independence, and eventually financial freedom.
Jesus Christ. I will make sure I focus for me, so. Turn off Netflix, y'all. If you were to do that, you would see us at the bank of Jamrock as exactly who we are, which is a bank trying to capitalize on your financial illiteracy. That said, we are the bank of Jamrock and we are here to serve. Leave it to us to make your dreams of financial freedom a nightmare. Again, Thank you for trusting us with your hard-earned money. And as our slogan says, your money is not safe with us. Let me go subscribe, yeah? Because I don't snark keep again. Maybe we can do better by our customers. <laughs> the preceding ad was paid for by the Bank of Jamrock. Now all that said, I have to offer a disclaimer because not all banks are like this. I remember when I had left my marriage, going through a divorce and was broken emotionally and financially, that the only bank that would give me credit despite my bad credit score or credit record at the time was First Caribbean International Bank. And no, this is not being sponsored by First Caribbean, but they continue to be a bank that I can trust to be there for me. Now, another reason why I love First Caribbean is because their banking platform is sophisticated and the functionalities that you can leverage to protect your account is bar none the best I have seen. So, big up yourself, First Caribbean. There's also no wraparound building lines. So, again, I am hopeful that those who are not serving us well and collecting our monies will do better. And for those banks out there who are doing an amazing job, keep doing so. That said, I want to thank you for watching. All the best. Remember to subscribe and become a part of our amazing rockstar family over here. And if you found the video interesting or entertaining, please like it. Until next time, my rockstars, walk good. My girl, you have a queen dependent. How you say? Yeah, From the dance hall thing, eh? With all crown and all these things. Then we'll start walking. Right. You know. The girl I want me done her. How she so fiesty? Mm -hmm. That's that scene. <laughs> <laughs>